So, next Woo! up, Dante's Inferno. I like this game a Me lot. too. I was I surprised. Really, and the dude, like, the thing is, we played it at PAX, and it was just like, pfft. Yeah. God of War clone, blah, blah, blah. Which it is. It is. But it's yeah. a really well done God of and War clone. And that's the thing. Oh is, my is god. If you clone stuff that well, <laughs> fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, I'll play God of War two and a half. Exactly. Or three and a half, rather. Yes. Why not? It's Square Enix, right? So it's yeah. God of War three colon two. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah, yeah. Kratos, Kratos is now Dante. Yeah, that's right. Sure, yeah. Two, three, dash... 10, I don't even know. Yeah, and so, like, I've, I've been reading all this stuff, and like, you know, you know that the Sony Defense Force is fully out, like, fully out there, like, oh my god, like, God of War is going to be the best game, but it's just like, I'm like, yeah, I guess you're right, because, you know, I saw what it is, and it's just yeah. like, it really is, but like, I started playing it, I was having a really good time. Yes. Um, all of the controls seem, feel really, really, really good. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so what is it? Uh, it is, uh, oh, uh, shit, what's the guy's name again? Dante Alighieri. Dante Alighieri, but what is the name of the actual uh, Divine Comedy? Yeah. So it's the Divine Comedy where so and somebody goes through this, this nine circles of hell. Dante. Is that right? It was about himself. Yeah. yeah so, so. so Dante wrote. Uh, so the, the, so so this is absolutely <laughs> incredibly not based on Dante's Inferno. Like, <laughs> no, I think it is. That, well, it really I think is. that it, it actually. I think they say like inspired by Dante's ah. Inferno. Because here's the thing: Dante's Inferno. Dante was led by Virgil through the different levels of hell, and there's, it yeah. was actually Nine circles, yeah. He, yeah, it was actually hell, purgatory, and heaven. There's oh, three of that's them. Right, that's so right. this, so the, the big one was Dante's Inferno. But the thing is, is all it is is him just going through and being shown this stuff huh. in in the book. Yeah, 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 it's just being like you know teaching him a lesson. Like here's sloth, here's greed, here's envy, here's this, here's that. Huh, here's okay. how bad hell is. Sure. And this one is like demons took your woman. <laughs> Here's a bunch of titties. <laughs> Go fuck some dudes up. Like, oh, and seven levels of hell. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. It's like, we'll make one on lust. Yeah, Put lots and, of titties in there. And your name is Dante. <laughs> you know, like, that, that's about as close as they came to historical relevance in terms of... So it's like, it's inspired by... But it, going to hell, I mean, they, for whatever reason, man, they... they have really envisioned what hell could possibly be like. You because I mean? it's dark. It's, yeah. not, it's not cartoony. It's not commercial. The way that they did it is going to offend people. Oh, absolutely. And that's what I like about it. Like, this is, this is what I look for in a good movie. Yeah. It's, like, it's edgy. It's, it's yeah. thoughtful. It's well-researched. It's like, you know, it kind of presents things in a way that you haven't seen them before. Yeah. And this shit is fucked up. Yeah, it's just like you take a movie like Seven, right? Yes, it's just like you exactly. normally do that. It's just like R-rated. It's, the, you know, all the seven things. Yeah. It's just like, wow. Like... Games don't do this. Games pussyfoot around shit. Exactly. They're like, they'll show a boob. They'll say, fuck, 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 fuck. But right. like, this is disturbing. Yes, Some of the things this, is, this is really kind of pushing people's buttons a little yeah, bit. Yeah. This is like, you're supposed to be scared of hell. Hell, hell right? is like, bad. Hell is supposed to be the worst <laughs> thing imaginable. It's not like a dude with horns being like, <laughs> like <laughs> you know. So, I mean, you've got things like like crosses burning and oh, like yeah. you know just awful terrible demons dude like you have like ones where like you know like where, where babies that are like would die young or something like that yeah. or abort- aborted probably right probably it's just like they're coming to fuck you up and you're killing them and yeah, it's just yeah. like and you've got shit. that what, what, what's the, the magic attack where you're, you're shooting crosses <laughs> you're like you're like ha ha and it's like cross 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 <laughs> like he's shooting crosses because he finds his woman's cross that's right but like did they explain exactly why he basically like took and sewed in this cross into his chest I didn't quite understand that because he was I, like Ah. Just to piss off Christians, I don't even know. Don't just... The thing is, like, if you are really like a hardcore Christian, mm. you're like, I'm going to hell to fuck shit up. Like, dude, isn't this one of your like kind of like wet dreams? I mean, I seriously, you're just know. like, I am going to kill people in hell to save my woman. Sure. Right, like, totally. Like the guys who did Left Behind, they're probably like, man, <laughs> <laughs> like we should have done this. Yeah, exactly. Go to hell oh, and fuck up Satan. Damn it. Do you, do you get to fight Satan? I don't know. Uh, we're we're gonna find out because I'm playing the <laughs> shit out of this game when it comes. To, so so then uh, uh, yeah. when you want to compare it to God of War, like what's the game? Yeah, yeah, like? yeah. So the gameplay is it, it it's exactly the same as God of War. I mean, it seriously. Is. So you are doing like light attacks, you know, big attacks. Yep. You do have magic just like it. Um, yep. You have projectile, which I guess you didn't really have in. Um, Right, you have the crosses, right? right? Which you didn't really have in God of War. And then but, you've got this concept of the the, uh, the special attacks. So you can uh, equip mm. four different special attacks. Right. You only get one in the demo. But basically what's going to happen is you're going to hold up, down, left, or right, and then hold one of the shoulder buttons, I yeah, think. Yeah, or something like that. You know, like you, do, you go and attack different people. And the whole thing is, just like God of War, you kill a bunch of dudes, yep. get a bunch of orbs, 
and you experience, orbs. experience orbs and then pick what you want to level up. But yeah, the leveling looks good. Actually. The leveling looks good because you can be good or evil. And see, I didn't understand that. So one of the things you can do is you can go and grab one of the enemies. Yeah. You can either uh, uh, admonish or... I forgot what the other word was, but basically... Like, save or something. Save, yeah, so basically so you can... Punish, be, there was punish, punish and, and admonish, I think it was. Okay. So you basically, admonish was like, you could basically make them good again. Right. Right? Um, and like, you got these points and there's these different bars and like, yeah. I'm really curious, like, can you play it good... I think so. ...by still fucking shit up? You know what I mean? I think so. I mean, the, 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 the problem that I had was that it looks like they're definitely putting a bar in the way of being good because... Yeah. If you're killing dudes, you're getting points all the time and then you grab somebody and they're like... Do you want to uh, uh, save yeah. or punish, save whatever? Or punish, Something yeah. I mean, like if you punish them, you're like, blah, you're dead, and you get yeah. like 50 evil points. And then like <laughs> save, and you're like, uh, yeah, something. Uh, uh. <laughs> and it's just like it takes four or five times as long. Yeah. So if you were just going to go and do that to enemy after enemy after enemy, it's yeah. actually going to take you. I mean, maybe they're trying to teach you a lesson that it's harder I, to be good than evil, whatever. Well, it's, it's always the case, usually, where being evil is easy. Yes. Right? It's, it's the quick. That's why we all do it. <laughs> I don't. I'm always good. Oh, yeah. That's like, right. I saved all I the sisters. Because I'm fucking lazy. <laughs> yeah, you want quick, quick gratification. I also think it's and funny I'm, when people die screaming. That's true. So I think when we play this game, I'll probably play good, and you'll probably yeah. play evil. So we'll be, like, I think it'll be interesting when yeah. we talk about it. Cause, so uh, what happens is when you pull up the upgrade screen, yes. there's all these different levels, Final Fantasy style, of like a tree of choices that you can yeah. upgrade evil, and then a tree of choices you can upgrade good. Mm. And then you can kind of work your way through the uh, decision trees and yeah. upgrade different skills based on good or evil. Yeah, and you know, I think that that's probably the big primary difference between this yeah. and God of War, because God of War is, uh, is just dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah right? <laughs> that's true. that's true. Do you want to be a dick, or do you want to be a dick even more? <laughs> power, power up the scent of your ass crack. <laughs> It's a little easier for Helios. Like, oh, like, oh god damn it! I'm like, you know, Helios goes back there, and you're like, level four. Kratos has dingleberries. You're like, ah ha ha, motherfucker! Gotcha. Yeah. So but yeah. So I, I, that is the that is the marginal innovation that this game had. But but dude, like you know, like I, the thing is, like I think we've had this 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 um this pattern with visceral games, mm. right? Like we were going like Dead Space, like fuck this game, you know, some guy in a suit, whatever, yeah. blah, blah, and it was like best game of the year. Right. Then it was like Dead Space Extraction, yeah, we played the demo, it looked really stupid, and it was just like, like, uh, it was okay. It was, I, no, it's like, it was pretty good. I mean, I really <laughs> liked it for a first shooter. Yeah. But like, this is the same one where like, we saw it at PAX and we were like, dude, yeah. God of War, like, like screw it. But like, they put, there's a lot of money in this absolutely, game. Absolutely, absolutely. And a ton looks, of money in this It game. looks like uh, they've done a lot of work in terms of making the enemies interesting, making yep. the attacks just different enough. I mean, like, mm-hmm. there's no doubt that this is a God of War clone. However, it's different enough that you don't feel like you're playing a God of War clone. Like, you don't yeah. get bored playing it. Like, yeah. you're doing the same thing, like, controlling guys just yep. like you do in God of War. Like, you can hop on a big dude's back and make him go around. Absolutely. But the attacks feel different. Yeah. It doesn't feel the same. It's just different levels. Yep. And the thing is, to me, I bet, when all said and done, when both games are out, yeah. it's like, I bet you Donnie's Inferno is going to win, win more on style mm. than God of War. Because God of War is like, look, you've had three games to do the, what is it, Greek or, or, yeah. or Roman, pe- you know, actually Greek, the Greek mythology. It's right. just like, it's kind of been done a lot yeah. of times. But this is like hell. Yeah. And they're going to be able to go a lot further. They're going to do a lot. You know I mean, mean, you know, the, the, there's, there's a lot of Greek mythology they haven't even touched on yet. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. God of War 3 is going to rape your face. It, no, it's, it's going to be, be, you're right. It's, it's going to be, be awesome. out off the hook. <laughs> but like Cyclopses, yeah. centaurs, yeah. it's just like, we've, we've fought them before. And this one, like, there's going to be babies you kill. There's going to be all sorts of... Yes! <laughs> right? Fucking yes! babies. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but apparently there was like... If only I could do that in real life. <laughs> Fuck babies. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't remember. It's just like I can't tell that. But there's like this one where it's just like apparently there's a big tit, yeah. and then monsters will come out of the nipple that you have to kill. I'm just, they're going like crazy. Wow. And I I don't think God of War is going to be able to top that. Yeah. In terms of like sheer like oh ooh, I feel kind of bad. Yeah. Like yeah you rip off Helios's head you know yeah it's kind of messed Inferno up. Inferno was the one that at PAX people said that the uh, the boss they had you fighting in the demo was bullshit right? It was bullshit yes. So we didn't feel that in the demo dude like no we didn't none of this the boss demo, fights I mean, were like, awesome. So hopefully yeah. the boss fights are just as good in the uh, uh, in yes. the actual game. So, so I'm excited. Very good, very very good demo. Oh. I was I was super excited for that. And get it for free now. Yes, absolutely. God, gotta love free demos, I man. Know. Just go on any platform. And not only it, that, you know. dude, they're long. Yeah. Right, both the God of War and the uh, and the Donnie's Inferno was at least maybe 20, 30 minutes. 20, 30 minutes, yeah. I mean, um, like, I think that we've kind of moved past the age of you spend several hours getting 800 megabytes of demo, and then you get, like, you're, like, running through a dark tunnel, and there's, like, a big monster. It's like, hot, to be continued. <laughs> you're like, go buy the game, dick. 
Dude, no. Because, like, I actually got... So I was going to get a Quix Plus Plus. Yeah. So it's, you know, remember Quix, right? The yeah. The old game. So they actually redid it. And I was like, oh, dude, exciting. Like, they're going to actually make it really cool. I played two levels. Well, how fast was that? Like, like just a couple minutes? Three, two minutes, three yeah. minutes. And it was just like, buy the game. And I'm like, are you freaking... Wow. You have Dante's Inferno, who spent however much gave me this entertainment value, which made me buy the games. This one's like, I'm not going to buy it on principle. Yeah. Just because they did that. And I'm yeah. like... Why don't you buy the game? Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. Because that's so, fucked up. Yeah. Um, so anyhow, it's so, not over. Uh, it is not, but uh, but the the big games coming out seem to like be showing a lot of giving us good demos, which you know we turn around and be like, go buy this at launch because yes. it rules. Yeah, so, show me the good and I'll buy it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, so 